Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Ramsey Custom Shop and my name is Gary. Okay, on this video we're going to be doing a couple of different things. One is we're going to be showing the process of an annular cutter and how to run that, you know, properly in a mill. And then we're going to be doing a comparison of small three-quarter inch annular cutter and a three-quarter inch twist drill and compare the speed of using one versus the other. And we'll, we'll try to compare the accuracy of the holes as well. About a month ago, I made a video showing uh, we, we compared this one and five eighths inch annular cutter to a two inch twist, twist drill. I got a lot of feedback about that on the use of pecking versus, uh, versus not and the use of coolant. So in, in, in some other forums, people linked information, I'll have it on the screen here, that basically says with an annular cutter, you really should not peck it. You really should just pull it through the material, keep it engaged, and use flood coolant and, and never let up. Well, with, with one this big and drilling through really thick material like an inch and a half that you're gonna see in a minute, um, I've already did a, a, a test on this using, using that method and using the power feed, automatic feed on the, the mill, and it just, the rat's nest, the swarf that came off of this thing became unmanageable, knocked off the, the magnetic Noga Mini Cool. So, um, as you can see on the screen here, and uh, so that didn't work very well. So we're gonna redo that and um, just do it manually and, and we'll have to stop periodically and, and clear the, the chips out, uh, the swarf off of it, but that's, that's just part of the process. Uh, when you're doing it in really thick material. Thinner material, you probably can get away with it, you know, half inch, inch, you know, one inch thick. Um, but, uh, and then we'll do the comparison on this. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to do the, uh, put this, this is a two inch annular cutter, it's cobalt, and it's a two inch diameter and two inch depth of cut. All right, so we've got this piece of uh, three inch wide um, flat bar here that's, in, that's one and a half inches thick. So um, for this test, we just need to cut a little section off of it here. So we'll get a mark on it where we want it cut at. And we're gonna uh, summons our, our best effort of a this old Tony and uh, most people can't do this, but with th this really thick material, if you get a mallet like this, it's kind of chewed up. And if you strike it just correctly, once you scribe a line, you literally can, uh, you literally can, can just make a clean cut with that. So here we go. All right, we're gonna get our mill set up here. We got our part in there in the vise that snug down and we're going to run this in low gear go ahead and get it turned on Okay, well, um, you saw that we got that uh, drill through there. Again, it's inch and a half thick, and our hole is uh, two inch diameter. There's the plug, you know, that 
basically is material that you really can reuse that, you know, use it for a lathe project or whatever, uh, versus if you used a twist drill, you would just, that all be turned into chips. The hole seems pretty clean. The backside, you know, um, it's got a little small burr on it, but overall it's pretty good. I know this is not the most accurate way to measure, but we'll see what this comes out to look like here. Maybe you'll be able to see the, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but. So maybe like eight thousandths over. You heard the, uh, you know, when I first would engage or re-engage, a little bit of chatter going on there. And I think, you know, what you really should do is sort of ease into it a little bit, let it get established, and then, you know, put the pressure to it. And I just didn't quite have the feel of it. I've done, I've known that in the past. I don't use these all the time, you know, but once you, once it's fully engaged, I mean, you could see it, you know, was cutting good and, and was quiet, no chattering. The, uh, information on these cutters you know the manufacturers say that the number one reason for shortening life is not enough pressure you know too light a pressure will shorten the life of it this is not the one this is a smaller one but all right so now we'll move over and do the test on the uh, three quarter inch all right so here's the setup over here we're using the little uh mill rights powermatic mill and uh so we're gonna put the twist drill through first we're going to do a pilot hole first for that and then uh, we'll swap it out and do this now the uh, pulley setup over here is uh, going to create a little bit of a disadvantage for the twist drill because um, it's uh, I, I really wouldn't want to have to change speeds with the belt be between the small pilot bit and the three quarter bit. So um, we're gonna run the pilot bit at just the, at the, uh, at the normal setting. <clears throat> so we got, uh, we got this set up on 435 RPMs, which is the closest to what the recommended is for uh for three quarter inch and mild steel it's a piece of quarter uh th yeah quarter inch mild steel hot rolled so um <clears throat> we'll put the timer up and uh see what we can do here and once i plunge i'm not going to peck uh i'm just going to plunge on on all three operations and um we'll put the timer up and see what we get Well, you saw what we got there. Uh, you see the speed on the screen there. So we'll swap this out. And the adjustment on the knee, I'm going to uh, take off a couple of seconds on that because that, that wasn't a fair 
operation there for sure. All right, so let's move this down. And it'll be the same thing. We'll just uh, put a little bit of oil to get started. And once we start, no more oil and um, see what we get. All right, so um, I went ahead and drilled another one off camera because when I did this one, I noticed that the uh, I didn't have the vise tight, and I think it was kind of walking around because it just visually visu visually looked bigger to me. I don't have a gauge pin for this. I've got a three quarter inch uh, end mill here, and um, so you can see this one that I thought looked bigger. It definitely goes through really easy with clearance. This one's got a nice fit. It's you know it goes through but um it's fairly tight around there again this one's you know definitely loose and then this one was the twist drill you can see it goes through but it won't uh, clear the the burr and you notice the twist drill definitely left a lot more of a burr these left a really clean hole in the back side so anyway there's that um wanted to, to just mention what this is so some people are probably going to ask about this um made by blair rotor brooch this is their brand name for uh you know this little um annular cutter kit comes with the arbor comes with sizes five sixteenths through three quarter and that was a three quarter one that we used you can see i broke a couple of them and you can break them pretty easily if you if you get them sort of in a bond or you try to start them too quickly and and you're you got run out in the spindle and they sort of wobble around they'll definitely uh, break but um i've had this a long time i've used oh man this thing i don't know how many holes i've punched in it but i've i've done a lot of holes with it and um you can get this i'm, I'm not affiliated with them i'm not sponsored by them i have no you know reason to recommend this other than just I've had good luck with it, just trying to pass on some good information. And I've, I've seen uh, Tom Lipton, actually, Ox Tool Co. was the first person I've ever seen use something like this in a, um, in a video. I don't know if he's got this exact kit, but he's got a, a selection of uh, rotor brooch uh, bits. So, um, all right, well, that's it. If you take a look right up in this area of your screen, you should see a link to the original video that I referenced earlier. Go check that one out and uh, see what you think about that one. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one, and uh, we will talk to you soon.